Hello everyone and welcome back. Okay, in this video, the main result that we will discuss is a theorem which says a square matrix is invertible if and only if its determinant is not zero. And this was the one of the main goals in the beginning of this chapter uh, that uh, we mentioned. Okay, lemma 6.3.3. Let B be an n by n matrix and E be an n by n elementary matrix. So this this one is elementary. Then what we have is the determinant of EB is the determinant of E times determinant of P. Basically, this says when you have product of two matrices and the left one is elementary, you're allowed to distribute the determinant. Theorem 6.3.4 is square matrix A is invertible if and only if the determinant of A is not zero. Let's prove it. Let R be the RREF of A. We know that there are elementary matrices E1 dot 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 ER such that the product of ER all the way to E1 times A equals R. This was a result we had in one of the theorems before. Therefore, what we have is, okay, so let's apply determinant to this equality. So determinant of R equals the determinant of ER, E2, E1, A. Now, since this is elementary, this matrix, we can use the previous lemma and pull out this, basically distribute determinant to the first and determinant of the rest. And by continuing this several times, because all of these matrices are elementary, we end up with determinant of ER, determinant of E1, and then determinant of A. Good. Okay. Now let's start to prove both sides of this theorem, because it's if and only if. First, suppose that A is invertible. Then, by the fundamental theorem of element of invertible matrices, we know that R equals i. I like to put y so that next time when you read, you think about it. Okay, then r is i. That's why, therefore, when you take determinant of r, it equals determinant of i, which is 1, and that's not 0. Now, look at this. This uh, oops, determinant of R is in the left-hand side, and this guy is in the right-hand side. And if determinant of R is not zero, this guy is not zero, then this guy cannot be zero as well. Okay, so if this is not zero, this is not zero. So that's why determinant of A cannot be zero. So we showed if A is invertible, then that of A is not zero. Good. Let's prove the other side. Now assume that of A is not zero. We will show A is invertible. Let's see how. If delta of A is not zero, then delta of R is not zero. Good. By the similar discussion we had in that equality right here and here. 
Okay, and if theta of r is not zero, also, since r is r, r, e, f, so its determinant, I would like to say, so that of r is the product of main diagonal entries. Entries. At the same time, you know that of r is not zero, yes? So we see that of r is not zero. And since that of r is not zero, and th this that is the product of main diagonal entries, that implies there is no zero row in R. And that implies R is I. Well, you have to think a bit more why. And if R is I, then by invertibility, uh, the fundamental theorem of invertible mat matrices, A is invertible. Because if R, R, E, F of a matrix is I, then A is invertible. That's it. Okay, that's enough for today.